Hello YouTubers, uh, this is RobertBriz95 here with a uh, deck tech. This is, a, I like to call it the bug mill. Um, this is probably my fourth variant on it that I'll run regularly. I'm a, I'm a big fan of mill, especially uh, in this current form now. I can mill extremely fast. Um, so uh, there, there's there's quite a few different, I mean there's the, the this is the fourth total variant, but I'll run, swap things out for like haunting echoes and uh, memory erosions. You know, I'll occasionally put a wall of frost in, th things like that, agony warps, stuff like that. Um, this current mill is very, very quick. Um, I'm just going to share it. Uh, it. It works in the in, in my meta, and, uh, you know, uh, I'm not really looking for any advice. I've got all the variants up in my head. I just, I just want to share. So uh, let me uh, see if I can get some light here. I'm running two Ludvig's test subjects. The I got two of the promo ones here. Um they're, uh, I tried them out, they're pretty good. Normally I'd have two Terra Stompers in here. Uh, Terra Stompers is a great card because it can't be countered, and it's got Trample, and it's an 8-8, eight, eight, so, you know. But this is a 13-13, and usually I can get it off. I, I, I sideboarded in um, Steady Progress to double out its tokens, and I, I used an inexor inexorable Tide as well, which is kind of nice. So, and of course you got your one of the main stables in any decent mill deck would be a Hedron Crabs. Uh, you get them out, and when you start, like, harrowing and using Colony Heart Expeditions and Terramorph Expanses and Evolving Wilds, you know, it, it really adds up, especially when you have, like, two or three of them out, then they're discarding a lot from the top there. You know, they're milling a lot, so. Uh, Borderland Rangers in here. I had, um, I don't know what happened to it. I had Sylvan Ranger in. Because uh, it only cost uh, one and one green, and did the same thing. But I can't, <laughs> I can't find my place at a Sylvan Rangers. So uh, it, it does the same thing. You can uh, go into your library uh, when it goes onto the field and pull a basic land out and put it in your hand. That way you can have a land every, you know, almost every turn to go out to continue the mill effects. Um, and then I, this is probably one of my new favorite creatures. Uh, at one point I was using Winged Kotal. Uh, this is the, uh, was this the Ambush Viper? You know, when it's got Flash and Death Touch, when people are coming at you, you can't beat that. It can come out at instant speed, you can kill their creature, it works great. Um, Wind Codal did the same thing, except it worked with Flyers as well. So, uh, and of course you got two Traumatizes. Um, I, I, I was running three, and at one point actually I had four, but, uh, I dumbed it down a little bit. It's, a uh, it's a pricey card, and... You don't usually get to fire it off right away, and I'd rather not just have one or two sitting in my hand at all times. So uh, it works good, though. Traumatize is pretty good. Um, and, of course, got four memory erosions, probably the best mill spell ever made, at least in my opinion. Uh, I mean, I've had people get so screwed by casting a single memory erosion. I Someone will have, won't have any mana until, like, the middle of their deck, they're losing half their deck until they get those four lands. So it's it's a really good card. So uh, this one, Dream Twist. Uh, this is my one of my new favorite mill cards. Uh, it's the same casting cost as Tome Scour, but because it's got flashback, I found it to be more efficient because it's like having eight of these in here. So you know it, it's it's pretty good. I mean they may only mill three, uh, where Tome Scour does five, but this is uh this is pretty a pretty good card. I really like this one. Uh, and of course archive trap. Uh, last night <laughs> I actually had I was holding on to him for a while before I wanted to use him. I had three archive traps in my hands, and uh, the person I was playing against uh, <laughs> it was basically uh, it was a neither reliquary deck, and he was constantly searching for lands and. At one point, I was like, huh. And I basically dropped him one after the other, so he ended up milling 39 cards, which was which was cool. <laughs> uh, and, of course, my favorite land grabber is Harrow. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll side it out for um, Rampant Growth uh, when, and when I do a lot of other swappings uh, because it does have its drawback of having to sacrifice a land. But because it is at instant speed... You can mill people on their turns and things like that if you've got some crabs out. So you know it, it, it's it's got its drawback, but at the same time it's it's pretty damn effective. So uh, of course, Colony Heart Expedition in conjunction with like the Harrows and the Terramorphic Expanse and Evolving Wilds, 
you get those counters on there super quick and you can get those lands out you can pop it and keep up the mill process so and that, that's it for the main deck and then i run uh eight forests eight islands one swamp just because of the you know the one thing uh, i had uh i had a uh the one of the variants i'll use uh creeping tar pits but you know in this variant i only really need the one swamp so and of course i run four terramorphics and three evolving wilds so you're dropping i mean you drop one it mills go and fetch drop that land again mill them again you know it, it, it's it, all in all it's a really really quick deck i mean there are some drawbacks to mill because there's no you know there's no um there's no defensive stuff really i mean and the only way it comes in defensive is the dream twists and the you know the the archive traps if you can pull them off but it works really well you can use the borderland ranger as a chump blocker same with the ambush vipers so um I may actually take out the traumatizes and replace them with something else, uh, two of something else. But uh, yeah, no, it works really well. And I actually even fired off the Ludwig's test subject a couple times last night, much to my opponent's dismay. So then I had a 13-13 blocker and he didn't really have any answer for it, any removal or anything. So it, it was good to, you know kind of beat on them for a little bit and <laughs> but uh yeah i've had this this mill super quick so um i guess rate comment subscribe tell me what you think um if, if you know i'll take suggestions if you want i mean i i've got my four variants that i'm i'm actually pretty happy with um this is this is just my probably one of my favorite you know modern bug mills um I don't, I don't take it to, I don't think I'll take it to an FNM just because I don't know if it would stand up at a modern FNM, but, uh, or they're not FNM, but, uh, Saturday modern, uh, I don't think it would, uh, stand up too well, but you know, against friends and whatnot, it, it, it plays pretty well. So, uh, until next time, YouTube, I'm hoping to come back with more deck techs. I'm hoping to have the completed version of my Tesa Orsov Scion, uh, EDH deck, but, uh, waiting on some trades. So, uh, anyway, until next time, YouTube.